I'm Josh Call, and I am honored to be your next Attorney General. Uh, first, I want to say thank you. Thank you to everybody who cast a ballot and helped make this midterm election uh, one with very strong turnout. Thank you to everybody who supported this campaign, everyone who volunteered, who posted about the campaign on social media, everybody who talked to friends and neighbors about what was at stake in this election. Thank you to the incredibly talented members of my campaign staff for all the work you put into making this campaign successful. Uh, thank you to my family. Um, there are not words to express how much your support uh, throughout my life has meant to me. Uh, Lindsay, thank you for uh, so much. Um, I am uh, incredibly lucky to have such a wonderful wife and two amazing boys, Simon and Henry. Um, I want to say thank you to uh, Attorney General Schimmel. Um, we ran a, a spirited campaign um, and as I've talked about throughout the campaign, I am lucky to have grown up in a family that was deeply involved in public service. Um, and I have enormous respect um, for Attorney General Schimmel's uh, long career in public service. Um, as Wisconsin's next Attorney General, I will be a watchdog for Wisconsinites. I will ensure that DNA matches from the testing of kits in our rape kit backlog are fully investigated. I'll work with the legislature and the governor to address the increase in testing times at our state crime labs. We're also going to start responding to our opioid epidemic like the crisis it is. And we're going to do more to address our meth problem as well. Under my leadership, we are finally going to be serious about holding the pharmaceutical companies accountable for their role in the opioid epidemic. Yes. I'll ensure that our enforcement efforts are targeting large-scale drug traffickers, and I'll be an advocate for expanding access to substance abuse treatment here in Wisconsin. I will fight to expand Medicaid in Wisconsin, which would allow us to cover about 80,000 additional Wisconsinites under Badger Care, which means that more people would have the coverage they need to pay for treatment, and which would save the state about $190 million a year that we can put to other productive uses, like expanding access to treatment, reducing health insurance costs, and finally addressing our prosecutor shortage here in Wisconsin. When I take office, uh, I will also work with Tony Evers to withdraw from the lawsuit that is seeking to invalidate the Affordable Care Act. No one in Wisconsin should be denied health insurance coverage because of a pre-existing condition. And protections for people with a pre-existing condition shouldn't be put at risk. We also need a more serious approach to school safety here in Wisconsin. As your Attorney General, I will advocate for some common sense gun safety measures, including universal background checks, a ban on bump stocks, and a red flag law. We also need long-term funding for mental health programs in our schools, and I call on our legislature to take action to do more on school safety. Under my leadership, the Department of Justice will also once again be serious about enforcing the laws that protect our environment and the laws that protect consumers here in Wisconsin. In 2018 in Wisconsin, safe drinking water for our families should be non-negotiable, and, and when polluters break the law and make a mess, they should expect to be held accountable. As your Attorney General, I will be independent and I will be an advocate for all Wisconsinites. I'm grateful for your support. Let's get to work. Thank you so much. Um, I think there were clear contrasts in the AG's race. Um, one of the big issues was that my opponent it was, it has been one of the leaders of a lawsuit that's seeking to invalidate the Affordable Care Act. If that suit is successful, protections for people with a pre-existing condition would be eliminated. Um, there was a clear contrast on that issue. 
Um, I also think we need uh, more effective management at our Department of Justice. And I think we need an attorney general who we can count on to stand up for the interests of hardworking Wisconsinites and to make sure that special interests uh, aren't being put ahead of the interests of Wisconsinites. Um, I, I did have a brief conversation with Attorney General Schimmel. Um, I, I will let him comment on what approach um, they plan to take. Um, but I will say, I will say that while well, this was a race that was close, um, the results are also clear, uh, and we look forward to, to moving forward.